What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the most important configuration for Windows 11 update. This new OS consists with lots of upgrade, such as redesign tab and ability to play Android apps. So, napaka steam na nito guys. And according to Windows, Windows 10 users are pre-upgrade to Windows 11. Ibig sabihin, wala kang babayaran para mag-upgrade ng Windows 11. However, ang kailangan lang ay ang system requirement and one of the system requirement na pinaka-importante para makapag-upgrade is the TPM 2.0. Nga ba ang TPM 2.0 or para saan ba siya? Trusted Platform Module Technology is designed to provide hardware-based security-related function. The most common TPM functions are used for system integrity measurements and for key creation and use. If your PC is made up during 2015 and up, there's a good chance that your computer has TPM. This is because most of the new processor includes TPM in their firmware. Like sa Intel, it co they called it Platform Trust Technology, PTT, and sa AMD naman, they called it FTPM. Now, you can check your computer if it has TPM by opening the run box and typing tpm.msc just like what I did. So, in this case, nakita nyo naman na TPM cannot be found since most of the TPM are disabled. So, another way is... Right click the Windows Home, then click the PowerShell Admin, then type get TPM. So, ganyan yung lalabas. Kung nakikita nyo, nakalagay siya false, 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 and then my true, and then not defined. It means, I have TPM 2.0 but hindi siya naka-enabled. So now let's proceed sa BIOS configuration kung paano natin i-update or i-enable yung TPM. If hindi nyo pa alam how to show the BIOS configuration, start nyo lang yung computer then click F2 delete depends sa computer so, or sa BIOS na gamit nyo. So now kung nakikita nyo, nasa BIOS na tayo. Click nyo lang yung advanced mode and click advanced. Magkaiba ito kung iba yung BIOS na gamit mo. But almost the same din naman ang mangyayari. So in my case, since I'm using AMD, makikita nyo sa pinakataas is AMD FTPM configuration. So yan, nasa taas. Click nyo lang yan. So now, nandito na tayo sa TPM configuration. TPM device selection, kung nakikita nyo sa una nakalagay is discrete TPM papalitan nyo ngayon ng firmware TPM since we'll be using the TPM of our processor na AMD so is hardware TPM 2.0 implementation integrated so basahin nyo na lang and click nyo lang yung ok nyan or accept and then sa pangalawa naman kung nakikita nyo is erase the FTPM and B for factory reset naka enable na siya Usually, sa ibang BIOS din, is naka-disable siya. So, yun yung dapat nyong i-enable. Dapat naka-enable talaga yun siya. And please don't forget to save and exit or F10. So, makikita nyo rin dyan kung anong yung binago nyo. So, accept nyo lang or save para mag-boot up na siya ulit. So, wait lang natin. So, ayun, it's starting na mag-boot up. By the way, my setup is B550M, ASUS TUF Gaming, and my processor is Ryzen 53600. So, check na natin ulit sa run if found na ba yung TPM natin. So, ayan, nakikita nyo ay... TPM is ready to use. Mayroon ng TPM. It means 
ready na tayo for the Windows 11 update. So, i-check din natin sa PowerShell kung anong nagbago. So, ayan. Git dash TPM. So, kung nakikita nyo, yung nakalagay ngayon ay true, 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 true at nakalagay na yung AMD since ginamit natin is yung processor or TPM na processor. So, ayan. It means ready ready na tayo for the Windows 11 update. So, if you like this video or you learned something in this video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will be sharing more videos like this. I know that all of you are excited for the Windows 11 update. So, abangan na natin and see you in my next video. Goodbye.